वॉट इज अप गाइज कैसे हो आप लोग सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग दैट आई बीन आज मल्टीपल टाइम्स टू वीक्स बैक आई ब्रॉट द ट्राइफ टाइगर नाइन हंड्रेड दैट इज द ब्यूटिफुल लुकिंग मोटरसाइकिल सम ऑफ दिस इज आई फील वन ऑफ द प्रिटीएस्ट ए डी वीज इन द मार्केट राइट नाउ एंड दैट इज सब्जेक्टिव आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कंपेयर टू द अदर वन इट्स माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन एंड दैट्स वाई आई बॉड इट बट देर इज वन क्वेश्चन दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव बीन आस्किंग मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड यूट्यूब वाई डिड यू गो फॉर द टाइगर नाइन हंड्रेड इवन दो यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिड इन द Tiger 800 for three years. What is the difference? Is it just the additional 100 cc of engine capacity, or uh, what is it? Why would one invest in the same motorcycle again? The answer to that question from my side is that it's like buying the XUV 700 after the XUV 500. I'm no Mahindra fan, but just to give you guys an example, it's actually also like buying the new Mahindra Thar after the old Mahindra Thar. That is how massive the difference is between the 800 and the 900 in this video i'll be talking about three major things that really convince me to go with the tiger 900 and i think that will answer a lot of your questions as well so let us start with the first main difference the first main difference i think you have already heard in multiple reviews is the engine now this engine from triumph is nothing like the 800 if you are coming from a 800 and then you are riding a 900 you will feel this is like shit i mean this is like a completely different bike the reason i said shit is because when you are used to riding the tiger 800 you are used to the smoothness of the motorcycle this motorcycle is not that smooth it actually now feels very very similar to a ducati multistrada 950 or even the ducati 1200 1260 right if you have ridden those motorcycles you will understand what i am saying because those motorcycles do not feel as smooth as an inline 4 tiger 800 used to feel very similar to an inline 4 motorcycle very very smooth throttle when you would rev the motorcycle you will get that amazing sports bike like exhaust note uh, in fact tiger ka to exhaust note is famous for its howl and the growl that it used to give that is missing in the engine but that being said the characteristic of the engine is now so much better and so much more suited towards adventure touring if we talk about adventure touring i think there are two main things that every adv rider wants in their motorcycle one is low end torque and a powerful mid range and the second is a comfortable riding ergonomics the 800 used to have the second part right comfortable riding ergonomics uh, all the creature comforts were there but the 900 has really improved the low end torque this bike now does not stall with the 800 what i remember absolutely clearly is when you were in the bad rough situations then you had to play with the clutch a lot especially in the scenarios where you were stuck in those tough off road situations you had to throttle out the bike the the throttle was very smooth but on the left hand you had to play with the clutch a lot so that the bike it doesn't stall that issue is completely addressed in the 900 net net what the 900 feels like is now a proper adventure touring motorcycle not a sports bike engine fitted into an adventure touring frame that is how big and massive the difference is the next major difference is the dimensions of the motorcycle now the dimension actually have two parts one is the waistline a waistline kya hoti hai bike ki wo main aapko dikhata hu this portion of the 900 is much more slim mer as compared to what you used to have on the 800 and this my friends is a very very big change what this means is when you are getting on the bike the seat height even though it is like 840 mm for somebody who is like 6 feet this feels very very comfortable my feet are totally grounded what the narrower seat height does is makes this motorcycle much more accessible because the narrower waistline means that once you put both your legs over it the reach to the ground increases and anybody who is like 5 10 5 11 can easily ride the motorcycle the seat height of 840 mm i would clearly call out is not something which is very very approachable but it is certainly much more approachable than the 800 The other main difference from a form and dimension standpoint is the weight. Now this motorcycle is almost 15 kgs lighter than the 800 and in terms of feel it feels like it is like 30 35 kg lighter. This motorcycle now feels overall very very slim compared to the 800. If you have closely, you know, observed how the 800 looks like, it looks much more beefy. While the 900 now feels like a sleeker machine which is much more approachable and easy to handle. And finally, the last point which is about the feature loadedness of the 900. 
the 800 in any sense was a very well equipped motorcycle it had heated grip heated seats cruise control traction control ability to turn off abs so it was a very well equipped motorcycle but the 900 has taken everything a notch above and i'll tell you why the first major difference is the wheels tubeless wheels with spokes now this is something very very important if you know what adventure touring is all about while doing tough sections we actually need spoke wheels on our motorcycle so that there is no fear of bending the alloys and bending the alloys actually is like a very dreadful thing because uske baad, uh, all the air comes out from the tubeless wheels apart from the tubeless spoke wheels you get these led setup on the motorcycle this beautiful looking light in the new design of the triumph tiger the indicators are also now LED and this position of the indicators has now been moved inside. Earlier in the 800 the position of the indicator was such that when the bike used to fall there was a great chance of the indicator breaking. But now you see this difference in between the line of the guard and the indicator. The indicator does not take a hit at all. The 900 now comes with these golden shocks, the Showa suspension which has 240mm of travel at the front and almost a similar travel at the rear as well, 240mm here as well. Now this Showa suspension is a change uh, if you compare it to what you used to get on the Tiger 800 XCX which had WB suspension which was very hyped at that time but the Showa suspension I would say it can withstand a lot of bumps now and also reduces the bumpiness of the ride. The rebound is also very well controlled. So that also makes a massive difference in the uh, ride quality that you get over hard terrains. And finally now we come to my favorite part in this 900 is this beautiful 7 inch TFT display. This is available only in the Rally Pro and the GT models. So it is not there in the Tiger 850 which is also selling pretty well. Now this display is superb. The clarity of the display is amazing and I would say it's very close to the BMW 1250 or the 850 display. Now let me show you some of the features that are there in the motorcycle and how you can access them from the display. You have this home button here that you click and the bike goes into the main menu. Now the main menu has the bike setup, you have the riding modes, the trip setup, display setup, Bluetooth, yeah. Riding modes, we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six riding modes. Rider, rain, road, sport, off-road and off-road pro. And in each of the modes, you get an option to select the ABS, map, traction control, everything going to the bike setup you have the triumph shift assist which is actually the quick shifter and indicators as well which can be auto basic which means they can be self cancelling what this means is when you're turning the motorcycle and you get back into the straight position the indicators will cancel themselves self cancelling indicators now this is what you call as bells and whistles in your premium motorcycle you have traction control which can be adjusted enabled disabled and uh, you know that is a simple service menu trips you can set trip one trip two which is very common display setup there are options to change the color of the display so if you go to blue everything will turn blue if you go to yellow you will have yellow accents all over the display you also have an option of high contrast low contrast visible trays as in the trays actually mean that you can select what all information you need to see in the particular display layout that you choose talking about the visible trays here you see a lot of options that can come in on the main screen you see right now uh, this is the destination thing the navigation system that is there in the motorcycle along with that you have the last dialed numbers right so folks who have spoken to last on my phone number are there on my fingertips that i can access on the motorcycle so if you see if i move this joystick right and left everything is moving now you have the sms preview as well when the phone is connected you have trip to you have the fuel status the average the range along with that you have the tire pressure monitoring system which is again something absolutely new which was not there in the 800 along with that the contrast that we saw the color changes some styles as well that you can choose from in terms of how you will see the information for example in this one you will get the rpm net net these are all the major changes in the 900 and these changes i feel make this motorcycle completely new if you compare the new xuv 700 to the xuv 500 
these are completely two different machines, right? The XUV700 is leaps and bounds ahead of the XUV500. Similarly, if you compare the new Thar to the old Thar, completely different machines. People, there, there are people who love the old Thar, there are people who love the new Thar, but they are not similar in any way. That is how the 800 and the 900 are positioned now. By the way, 800 is not being manufactured now. We only have the 900. So it's a case of just getting the 900 if you want to get into the Tiger brand. Now, if you are coming from the 800, you will definitely feel that this is, as I told you, a rougher motorcycle and a completely new feeling of riding when you get on the bike. But if you are somebody who's coming with a clean slate, uh, who has never ridden the Tiger 800, you will appreciate this 900 even more. From an 800, getting to the 900, you will take some time getting used to. I have gotten used to it and I am just loving this motorcycle. I hope you have gotten a fair idea about the differences between the motorcycle through this video and if you have any other questions let me know. If you are planning to buy the 900 let me know I will be happy to help. That is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you on a ride pretty soon. Bye bye.